I am actually at the record screen where I can get the video so I click on that I'm gonna open it in browser that's what I did before with uh, the iPad so go ahead and do that I'm gonna start playing it again I'm playing it in HQ and uh, this is where the iPad shines uh, so it started playing um, but you're gonna see a lot more time spent on the buffering right here so I increase the video size and uh, it's playing back but <laughs> the um, playback frequently catches up with the um, playback so if I spent some time buffering the video I'm sure I could have a decent experience watching it but if you wanna just pull something up and watch it right away um, the ASUS is not this version of the ASUS is not ideal for that I don't know why maybe it's the way that they have the Wi-Fi antenna set situated on the pad but you can see it's uh, frequently catching up uh, the playback to the buffering position of the uh, video <coughs> so if you want to resolve that you can possibly take off the HQ and then hit playback but you know that's unfortunate that you have something that's recorded in high quality but you might not be able to watch it in high quality because um, it just doesn't work well now uh, one thing I wanted to show you with uh, video playback on the iPad was how smooth it is when you go from one aspect ratio to the other so you can see it's just very smooth going back and forth okay between the two orientations if I hold my hand on the screen it will stop the playback but you won't you won't get any um, errors or uh, anything like that so there's the pause button there right that was weird <laughs> but I'm gonna go back here go to my gallery and uh, I'm gonna play back the video I just made and I've uh, been able to make this 